Guys, the, the news I have right now is some of the most exciting shit I've seen in a while. And there's two things. Now, a lot of you guys know they uploaded. We finally got a chance to see gameplay. They had that new trailer with Kobe and Kevin Garnett. It looks dope. But that's one thing. That's not what I'm excited about. What I'm excited about is something completely different. I'm trying to contain my excitement currently. All right, check this out. Man, shout out to every single one of y'all that tweet me when some shit pops off. Jokic Goat tweeted me, said, Agent, your dream's finally coming true because he knew I was talking about being able to upgrade your player by playing online. I thought it was prehistoric we were still doing it the old put it on rookie my career way. There was an article uploaded to stack.com so immediately I'm trying to check sources. I googled stack NBA 2k18 and the article is right here. It's an entire article based on an interview they had with a 2K dev about a new ballpark. So it looks like the playground is the park. I know you guys heard rumors yesterday, no park. It's gonna be called the playground, likely the ballpark. They got a bunch of different names for it. The thing is, when you click on this, the article isn't there, which means a 2K dev saw they posted this shit early and went, yo, what the? Fuck is wrong with y'all? And the only remaining shit I have of this article is the shit that Jokic screenshotted for me. So let's read this shit together because I wish I could have got the whole interview. That would have been groundbreaking shit right there. It's all about realism. Having realistic body types doesn't just allow for us to make players look realistic, but react more realistically as well. Now he's talking about body types. Don't worry about that. That's weak compared to the next question, what changes can we expect from multiplayer? Among other things, the road to 99 will change things up drastically as players can now build their character up in every mode, including online modes. Guys, I've been crying for this and we're finally getting this. I don't have to sit down and grind the mind numbing, boring my career. I can hop on with my friends, have fun, and upgrade my player. Of course, since it's different than what we've been used to, some people off rip, I saw some tweets, I put out a tweet about it, people were like, agent, that means come ups are gonna have good players. What are you talking about? Are you telling me you prefer spending like 12 hours grinding your attributes and your fucking player on my career rookie? You tell me you'd rather waste your time doing that? If anything, it's harder for people to get badges and shit now. We don't know none of the details, of course, we don't know what the requirements are, but this, the one thing I liked about NBA Live that 2K didn't have was this. And now 2K has it. Yo, allow me to celebrate. I'll be back. I need to react to that trailer that just dropped. But give me a second. All right, man. Of course, got my handy dandy busted up. Always broken Apple earbuds. I'm reacting to this trailer real quick. I seen it already, but it's always when you see it the second time, you see some new shit, right? Hello and welcome, everyone, to another exciting edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. I'm glad they're finally uploading this earlier than they usually do because there's an expo where people are leaking gameplay today So they, they were strategic with the shits They wanted the first time people seeing gameplay to be on a trailer instead of some shaky cam get a This is Kevin Harlan And a special treat here tonight Joining us courtside is five times And you know NBA Kobe's on it, I have to pay Kobe attention Brian. man Kobe, great to see you, thanks for joining us Happy to stop by, thanks for having me The big ticket is here KG, welcome. Thank you for having me, man. Shout out to hey. 2K. You know what it is, 2K. <laughs> Y'all holler at me. Y'all know what it is, 2K. Talk about the desire. I feel to like Kevin Garnett. I always mute it anyway, opponent. but well, it's the spirit of competition to bring the best out of them. And so off the tip, it's the Lakers. Who were some of your Hey, some post-up gameplay. Some post-up. Y'all see that shot meter? I'm not gonna lie to you. It's gonna take some getting used to that. Alright, I might even have to turn it off, but the post-up doesn't look too different here right, than and you see the shot feedback looks different this year. They got coverage and you release. I mean, it's always been like that. I think it's just a different aesthetic. Honestly, uh, obviously Michael Jordan, uh, and then Chris Webber. When I first met Webb, I was starstruck. Him and Michael Jordan. No kidding. And Shaq a little bit, right? Because Shaq hey. is like, holy. Like, <laughs> Shaq to Diesel, right? Here's Curry with the three. And he got that green light. Heavily contested green light. But well, you made an incredible amount of three-point shots during your career. What is it like watching Steph Curry? Shooting the ball from distance now has kind of become like the home run in baseball, yeah. right? Where it's exciting to watch the ball in flight. What was it like defending I mean, Big you know Shaq? You know what, man? Man, I miss Kobe so much, man. <laughs> I couldn't even wave at people right-handed for a whole day. You had to wave left-handed. I had to wave left-handed. 
Gordon in that one. Kevin Garnett's gonna be funny. Like? I know he's gonna be Kyrie funny. Kyrie sensational. Yeah, he's Great handle. Yeah. How about his handle? Did you shoot a left hand jump hook coming across the middle? He we just saw a neat little step handle. back green right there. Free. I mean, he's you know, he's built the game without any weaknesses. Like most players, I think, should be thankful that he's not six foot six. Well, he'd be Kobe yeah. Bryant then, yeah, right? Yeah. He'd be Kobe Bryant. <laughs> Here comes Kyrie Irving and Irving. Step back, hop step for the shot. What if he's not a Celtic next year? We didn't consider that part. I feel bad for 2K. Hey, anyway, uh, we, I mean, we got a chance to see post-ups. We got a chance to do those hop steps people were talking about. You can't dribble anymore off the hop step according to the people that played the game. Hey man, it's an exciting time, seriously. And you know, aside from all this, I'm just happy I don't have to sit there like on this my career shit no more. I could just enjoy myself. That's so phenomenal, man. Anyway, yo, drop a like, man. Subscribe if you guys are new and y'all want to see more 2K content. You know I'm going to have it covered. I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.